Hey guys. So I'm on lunch and I haven't went to the sandwich shop in a while so I figure I would go to the sandwich shop today. Um, it's kind of across town. It's obviously not very far because I live in a small town but it's a lot easier just to go get food on this side. But um, yeah, so I called it in. That should make it a little easier to just swing by and pick it up. And uh, I'm going to do that and then I'll tell you all a story. So, um, we got a new store in town, and, uh, I went over there one day to look at some guns, and, uh, I hear somebody scream, Dutch Creek Cabin! Dutch Creek Cabin! I'm like, what? I, like, figured it was one of my friends that I know just playing around with me, but, um, it actually was this lady, and she was really nice, she was with her puppy, and, uh, she said her and her husband just moved out here and bought land from Florida. And uh, she told me all about them and everything. I stood there and talked to her for a little while. And um, I guess that they just bought some property out here sight unseen. And it uh, seemed like they were pretty happy with it. They still had to make a trip to Florida to go round some more stuff up, which I think they're there right now. And um, and they, uh, they're viewers of me and Bobblehead. So that was pretty cool. And... Uh, I didn't get to meet her husband that day because he was, uh, I guess, at home. But then the next time I went there, uh, sure enough, they were there again, and they were both there. So I got to meet him, and uh, they had just bought a bunch of stuff, so they were unloading it or loading it all up in the car. So we just kind of chatted for a minute and exchanged numbers and stuff. And um, they actually have a old Volkswagen bus that they brought with them from Florida. So. Uh, it's pretty cool. I haven't got to see it yet, but I got to see pictures, man, and I'm really excited about it. So pretty soon we're going to go over there and check out their place and um, after they get some stuff moved, you know, and whatnot. So that was pretty cool. So I just want to say hi to you guys, and I uh, can't wait to come see the VW bus, and I uh, hope you guys are traveling safe in Florida. But what made me think about that was the sandwiches, and um, obviously I've told you guys about the sandwiches. Well, uh, they came in to work and were like, hey, where's that sandwich place at? Uh, and sure enough, they came and tried the sandwiches and they reported back that they were very good. Uh, I didn't realize that the price had went up like 50 cents or something like that. So, but that's all right. You know, they're still worth it. It's just the price of meat kind of went up. So, uh, anyway, cool story. So what I got was uh, pepper jack cheese today, roast beef, lettuce, onions, and jalapenos on white bread. So I'm going to tear this up. Did I say mayo? Extra mayo. I'm going to tear this up and then we'll see what else we can get into before I have to get back. Alright guys, well it's kind of cold and rainy so I just kind of sat around in the truck on lunch. But um, yesterday I made a video and I was going to upload it today but I didn't want to look like a complete dummy. So I did it. I found a small patch of daffodils that hadn't bloomed yet and I was convinced that they were wild onions. And when I tried to harvest them, I quickly realized they weren't wild onions, so I took them home. I just harvested one, but I took it home to see, just kind of figure out. And it looked exactly like an onion all the way through and through, but it was not an onion. And uh, I had one of the old timers come in here today. And uh, actually the one from my video before that said, this guy knows everything. And uh, I just showed him a picture and he said, daffodil? I was like, aha, oh, what a dummy. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to refrain from uploading that video, but uh, I'm going to cut into it now. To me, that looks like an onion. There is zero smell of onion. Uh, tonight, I will let y'all see the puppy. It'll be dark before I get home, but I'll let you see the puppy. And, um... I got so I got a friend coming out later this week on Thursday. He's gonna be here Thursday, Friday, Saturday. I'm taking an extra day off work to hang out with him, so that should be cool. We're gonna do a lot of hiking, so we should be getting into some antics. And then um, I've got another visitor coming a couple weeks after that, so uh, there's a lot to come. And uh, now that we got longer days, uh, it'll be it'll be a little easier to make videos. You know, I usually get off after dark as it is, but even with the time change for now, anyway. I appreciate your patience hanging with me, and thanks for always watching. Alright guys, I'll show you the puppy, and y'all have a good night. You didn't clean today while Daddy was at work? Oh, hi baby boy. 
Bye.